using a protractor. Mental math, times tables, 8 times 12 equals 96, 7 times 6 equals 42, addition, 37 plus 85 equals 122, subtraction, 12 minus 69 equals negative 57, division, 24 divided by 6 equals 4. Square numbers, the square of 11 equals 121. Square root of 121 equals 11. The cube of 11 equals 1331. And the cube root of 1331 equals 11. Decimal addition, you may use your calculator. 13,78 plus 12 equals 25,78. Decimal subtraction 25,08 minus 15 equals 10,08. Decimal multiplication 0, 0,85 times 0, 0,025 equals 0, 0,02125. Decimal division, 2,6 divided by 0, 0,2 equals 13. We multiply both with 10 to get whole numbers. 26 divided by 2 equals 13. Fraction addition, 2 over 3 plus 1 over 4. Find the lowest common multiple. 8 over 12 plus 3 over 12 equals 11 over 12. Fraction subtraction, 3 over 4 minus 1 over 2, find the lowest common multiple, 3 over 4 minus 2 over 4 equals 1 over 4. Fraction multiplication, 5 over 10 times 1 over 4 equals 5 over 40 equals, we simplify 1 over 8. Fraction division, 5 over 10 divided by 1 over 4 equals 5 over 10 times 4 over 1 equals 20 over 10. We simplify equals 2. Using a protractor. Here we have an image of a protractor. We have a hole right in the middle there and then you have an inner scale. And on the outside, you also have an outer scale. Turn the protractor so that the 180 degrees line is directly on top of your straight bottom of the protractor. Measure the upper line of the angle with the inner scale of the protractor. Record this measurement shown on your protractor of the upper line of the angle to draw an angle using a protractor. Can you remember how to draw an angle using a protractor? You use the straight edge of the protractor or a ruler to draw a straight line. This line will form one side of your angle. Then you find a center hole on the straight edge of your protractor. You place the hole over one end point of the line you have drawn. Line up the zero on the straight edge of the protractor with the line. Make a mark on your curved edge of the protractor at the number that corresponds to the measure of your angle. And you use the straight edge of the protractor to connect the mark to the end point of the first line, forming an angle. To draw an angle using a protractor, now we're going to draw the following angles. A a 60 degree angles A, B, C. Step 1, you line it up, you put the hole right in the middle there and you measure now 60 and you measure, you draw your angle. Step 2, you can see there it's A, B, C and my angle is 60 there. 
degrees. Now we're going to draw a triangle with 145 degrees angle and 165 degrees angle. We start with this 45 degree angle. Step 1, you can see how we measure it. And step 2, we're going to measure the next one of 65. And this is how you measure it. Then you connect all the lines and you have ABC, triangle ABC. Number C is my quadrilateral. We have a 170 degrees angle and a 120 degrees angle. The 70 degree is right at the bottom with angle A there. And then we do 121 is the second one, 121, which is shown as angle D. And now you can just measure the rest of your angles. And you have a quadrilateral with 170 degrees angles and 120 degrees angles.